Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben. And today we have a brand new bottle. No, not a bottle, just a card box <laughs> <laughs> here on our cask. It's the new Glenmorangie Quinta Ruban with 14 years of age. Yeah, I had it in my news, I think one and a half year, uh, weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, Actually, it was this Monday for me, but for you, it's uh, one and a half weeks ago. And it's the new Quinta Ruben. They actually changed something about the whiskey. You can see they changed from black to green, but they also changed something about the recipe. Usually at uh, Glenmorangie, you have 10 years of maturation in normal bourbon cask. That's then the original, that's like the base. And then you finish it for usually two years, and now they elongate it. The maturation periods in the finish to four years so you have 10 years of bourbon casks and then you have port casks with four years and yeah not chill filtered not colored it's a really good one 46 percent abv mm -hmm. priced a little bit, bit above 50 i think mm -hmm. and uh well one thing very good so this is one of my top 10 whiskies mm -hmm. i like the quinta ruban a lot and uh this was essentially black with gold uh, marks on it. So this was uh, the perfect uh, appearance for me and now they changed to green. Why that? I don't know, but... Uh, because I you think said Quinta Ruben is Gaelic. Gaelic for ru ruby mm -hmm. red. red. And yeah. the thing is, maybe they want to have it so... A contrast. It's like a, a contrast. So they didn't want to go with the black and red, but they go with green and red. And yeah. So the I would have gone with the red label. Uh, the, <laughs> the portwood finish was one of the very, very first bottles with, which were finished on the market at all in Scotland. And uh, the first one has 46.5 ABV, no age statement on it. And if you have such a bottle, I think uh, it is worth four digits. So it's, it's really a, a very important bottle. Then there came out a 12 year old and they switched it was still called portwood finish. It was switched down to no age statement, then came up again. And then the Quinta Ruben with the 12 years of age came out. I think it was 2003, 2005, somewhere around that. Hmm. And now they change it to 14 years. And this is a major step forward. And we got a sample mm -hmm. from the, the distribution here in Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very happy to have that here. I will go a little bit more. The thing I is, uh, it's not quite available everywhere yet. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, kind of a pre-video. Uh, we, we were lucky enough to get a few bottles at the start. <clears throat> now we ran out, but it, it will be one of uh, the standard bottlings. Mm -hmm. So there will be a supply. Don't worry, we're just gonna have a wait a few weeks more. Oh. So a wonderful, complex, full nose, a lot of port wine, a <clears throat> lot of sweetness, and then spices appears, herbs, probably a little tangerine from the citrus note of the distillery character. So it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's just as it should be, a very complex aroma. Mm -hmm. It's um, mm. it's definitely very velvety. They say uh, bold and velvety dram. You mm -hmm. definitely have the velvetiness, and for me the the lead note is a a very nicely balanced dark chocolate. It's not one of these 80 percent that are way off, but it's one of these fifty sixty percent that is just that's the one that I like. It's not one of these. 34 buttery chocolates but it's more of the 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 velvety just in between between buttery and and hard but it's not too hefty mm -hmm. with that influence there's still the port wine in it still yeah. the massive the fruitiness from the port wine so it's really complex showing already more before you sip the the, the lead is the chocolate combined with the port wine the velvetiness and when you smell a little longer, you do get a little bit of a spiciness in there as mm -hmm. well. Oh, I would have loved that without the spiciness. I, I li really like that velvetiness, that chocolateness with the with the fruitiness as well. 
But what you don't find anymore is the the typical Glenmorangie uh, pineapple distillery character. This juicy, full kind of sweetness in it and then filling your mouth acting or attracting uh, mouth watering you have a, really a second gulp on it spiciness appears all over your mouth and then light nuttiness in the aftertaste probably from the casks and there is if you smell on it now a light cooling note in it probably from the 46 percent abv and this leads to a suggestion of mint so this dark chocolate or this silky chocolate together with mint, interesting. Mm. Long aftertaste and kind of, of tangerine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like how it's so velvety smooth. It's just mm, nice around your mouth. You don't really feel that it's 46%. Mm. You get that velvety smoothness. You get the chocolate as well. A little bit of uh, mm, fruits as well. It's a it's a nice balanced drum with that hint of mint in the back. But I don't I don't feel it as, as that big. And also, I'm not that a fan of mint. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you do have mm -hmm. an appointment. We're just in mm -hmm. a little bit of a hurry. Mm -hmm. Mm. And this it, one is is for the evening for a long, long mm -hmm. nosing, sipping, tasting. I like what they've done. The, the Quinto Ruben was was good, but now it's it's just a smidge better. It's mm, it's a bit more intense. I say it was excellent, and now mm. it's top of the line. Mm, it's definitely <laughs> top of the line. So with the yeah. with that stuff, really good. Yeah. If you'd like to know more about, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a, uh, a rumors going on that the nectar door will reduce from 14 years to 12. So if you're a collector, probably you should have one of those. And if you <laughs> like that, you should change over to that. Uh, I'm not really uh, sure there, there, of it's that. There um, are a lot of rumors going on. There's yeah. construction going on at Glenmorangie, so I'm not sure if they're going to reduce it. So I'm, I'm skeptical of that. Yeah. So if, if you like uh, the Glenmorangie, then have a look at the distillery video. It's very beautiful. The distillery is very beautiful. If you ever come to the Northern Highlands region, you should visit Glenmorangie. It's just a, a very, very nice distillery. And if you visit it in the near future, send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.